I'm Sally Taylor, and I'm the Chief Executive of Kersler Arts. We are a charity that's been in operation for 60 years, encouraging people to make art in prisons and enter it for our awards. You will receive a certificate and feedback, and if you win an award, possibly a cash prize as well. So do think about entering and watch this video to find out more about it. So there are 52 different categories that you can enter into for the Kersler Awards. And as you can see, this ranges from writing to music to all sorts of different visual arts like craft and sculpture and drawing. This is to be as inclusive as possible so that anything creative um, has a home at Kersler. And now let's have a look at some of the 2021 awards entries to inspire you. The Kersler Awards are for everyone, whether you consider yourself a fully formed artist or someone who's just starting out. And What's important to say is that judges are not just looking for technical skills, they're looking for all sorts of things, such as humour, use of colour, um, works that tell a story, or just uniqueness in any way. Painting is one of our largest categories that people enter into, and here are two top award winners from 2021. As you can see, they're both quite similar in the sense that they are both landscapes and both quite colourful. However, they are completely different in style. And this just goes to show the range of artworks that are appreciated by our judges. My name's Ron. I was a exhibition host at this year's uh, Kessel Arts exhibition. Two years ago, I was released from prison myself. Two of the pieces that I'd like to talk about is a Crazy Town and a piece called Unmasked. Crazy Town is very simple um, and very colourful. He, he wanted to recreate images that he sees in his dreams. And as you can see with the piece, it's very dreamlike. On the other scale, Unmasked is a very technical piece and it's very lifelike. He wanted to create a piece that was more um, relevant in today's society. It's based this around the Black Lives Matter uh, movement. And it is a very detailed piece. And it just shows how it doesn't matter what, what level you are, you are, whether it's a simple drawing, whether it's a very detailed drawing, um, it's, it's, it all matters. And it was actually crazy town, um, a simpler drawing, that actually received the higher award. One of the things that always impresses our judges and what we love about the Kersler entrance is their resourcefulness and especially the use of unusual materials. This year we had entries made from soap, coffee, rice, bread, recycle materials, and matchstick models, which we actually have a full category for as we've received so many of them. My perfect cellmate is actually made up of all um, old prison kit. Um, you've got the prison shirt, prison jeans, prison socks, uh, prison buttons. The gentleman who's created this piece, for most of the time, he was um, had to share a cell with someone. Um, and then when he got moved to a new prison, he was then fortunate enough to have a single cell. And we then saw um, the other side of things, the isolation and the loneliness. Uh, so he came up with the idea that he wanted to create himself what he classed as the perfect cellmate. He's made this lovely little uh, red doll. And what actually makes him the perfect cellmate um, that he's, um, he's clean and tidy. Um, he'll happily sit in the corner and let you get on with whatever you want. He'll let you watch what you want on the telly. Um, he won't constantly talk to you and annoy you. Uh, but any time you want someone to talk to, he's always there and he's a perfect listener, which definitely makes him the perfect cellmate. One of the oldest techniques in prison is soap carving. In this year's exhibition, we had quite a few examples of soap carvings and soap mouldings. Stepping out really demonstrates how resourceful people are in prison. Uh, prison soap is something that's hardly used for its real purpose, but it's not very good soap. So there's a lot of it about, and it is being very hard, it is very easy to carve. And you, as I say, you can make some lovely pieces and stepping out is, is a fine example of that. One of the reasons why I love working at Kersler is because it really shows that the imagination has no bounds. And we've received so many unique entries, uh, you know, things that make you smile and prompt conversation are often the things that um, 
the judges focus on the most. So as you can see, our world leaders always gets a reaction. It is something that people have an opinion of whether they're into politics or not. Um, and it is definitely something that I wouldn't have thought of, but wish I would have. Each year, a small percentage of the entries are chosen for exhibition. Kersler Arts holds a national exhibition at London South Bank Centre and several regional exhibitions across the country. The national exhibition usually showcases around 200 pieces of art, craft, music and writing, and around 30,000 visitors attend the show. In 2015, I was lucky enough to have my own work exhibited, and I encourage everyone to just take a chance and enter the awards. You can enter five pieces to the Kersler Awards each year. To enter the awards, you need to complete an entry form for every entry and get it signed off by a member of staff. You can send us your entries using our free post address, free post Kersler Arts. All entries need to reach us by our April deadline. Have a look at our guidance notes for further information, the full list of categories and our terms and conditions. Entry forms and guidance notes should be available from your education department or library in inside time or by request from Kersler Arts. Kersler Arts has had such an impact on my life since I discovered art in prison. I'm now a full-time artist and even a trustee at Kersler. But back then I didn't think the arts was for people like us and I was so wrong because it doesn't matter what your creative ability is, it's where it comes from that matters. So get creating and send us something in. Good luck.